Um, obviously, important game on Friday. Just tell us how important it will be to get a big result in front of the fans and really push for that to stay up in the league. Oh, it's hugely important. To, it's uh, well, we need to win this to make sure we can secure our Premiership status next year, and it doesn't really come up too much bigger than bigger than that. And uh, we kind of owe it to supporters as well after what's been a pretty disappointing, uh, disappointing season. Um, training's gone well this week, and uh, I'm hoping we can carry that on into Friday night. Obviously, for you as well against Newcastle, there's a lot of, a lot of personal emotions. Uh, your team, your brother plays there as well. Yeah, there's not many people I actually know there anymore, apart from my brother. Um, so it's uh, it's just one of those. It's just a, another big game, really. It's um, obviously I've played against my, my bro three times now, and it's, it gets it's still a little bit strange. But um, ultimately, we just need to go out there and uh, perform well and, uh, and and get the win. Is there a lot of banter between you and your brother or is that just is that safe for after the game? Or? Um, there's been a, been a little bit. He's, um, when I, speak to him, I spoke to him last night but he's not giving much away. I was trying to uh, find out whether he was going to be fit because he was injured the week before but he, uh, he wasn't giving uh, any clues away. This season has been a bit up and down for the team. What, like, what's your overall reflection on the season? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's been disappointing if we're, if we're honest. Um, even with the guys that left, we've still got a team full of uh, full of good players, and um, I don't think our, our, our league position probably reflects the talent in the squad. But uh, the table doesn't lie, and we we probably deserve to be down there. We haven't taken advantage of our home games, and um, that's sort of why we find ourselves where we are. How much of an impact do you think things like the Six Nations have on the season? Obviously, going to impact when you when you're losing losing guys, but. Um, it's a chance for people who are here to, to put their hands up and, and, and perform. Um, it was obviously, it was a diff- difficult uh, period for us while well, uh, we had a few guys missing. Um, but those guys are back now and there's no excuses. And in terms of next season, what's, what's a realistic aim just to improve on this year or sort of work your way up back towards the top of the, end of the table again? Well, you've got to strive to, to, to keep improving and we'll be the same. And I'm sure Kingsley will, and Jason and Byron. Will, Hayward will sit down at the end of the season and, and review everything and uh, highlight areas that we need to strengthen and we need to improve um, to, to push us forward. Okay, and just lastly, French rugby is taking over, over a lot at the moment and kind of losing the Schofield here, for instance, to, uh, to France. Yeah. Have you uh, ever had any offers from France or have you considered going out there yourself? Um, well, I've got another year left on my contract, so I'll be, um, I'll be, I'll be here for, for that year and then. As with anyone that's out of contract, you, you uh, have offers and you review them and, and see which ones is, is best for you. And uh, it's as much as I can say, really. If one was in France, then one was in France. And, uh, so it might interest you one day? Yeah, one day, yeah.